Welcome back to the Plant Web Lab here at Emerson Process Management in Marshalltown, Iowa. I'm James Holloway. In this video, you'll learn how to mount a manual operator, in this case a side-mounted hand wheel, to this Fisher 657 size 40i actuator. The updated 657 and 667 actuators feature integrated mounting pads, which simplify mounting a manual operator. It's important to note that this video only covers the mounting procedure for the 657 and 667 size 34i through 60i actuators, which differs from the mounting procedure for the 657 and 667 size 34 through 60 actuators. Make sure you have the correct mounting hardware for your specific actuator. If not, contact your Emerson representative for these parts. Let's take a second to make sure we have all the equipment needed for this procedure. Safety glasses, safety gloves, a wrench or socket set, and a torque wrench. Of course, we want to make sure we review all the safety precautions found in the instruction manual. You can find the instruction manual online by following the link in the video description below. Before we go on, make sure that the actuator is installed on the valve with the appropriate slotted stem connector. The hand wheel mounting pad should be facing you for this installation. Also, your hand wheel must be fully assembled and set to the neutral position. Refer to your actuator instruction manual for specific hand wheel assembly instructions. Now, we can get started. Mount the hand wheel assembly by sliding the lever pins into the guided slots on the stem connector. Align the larger holes on the hand wheel bracket with the larger holes on the mounting pad. Next, place the spacers between the yoke and the hand wheel assembly. You may have to pull the hand wheel assembly away from the yoke to make room for the spacers. Then, insert and hand tighten the lower cap screws. Some actuator sizes use four cap screws and spacers for this step. Simply follow the same procedure for the two additional cap screws and spacers. Now, we can tighten down the bolts to secure the assembly. Make sure you consult your instruction manual for the appropriate torque values. We've just learned how to install a side-mounted hand wheel to a Fisher 657 size 40i actuator. So, let's review the steps we took. First, align the hand wheel to the actuator using the larger upper bolt holes. Second, thread the upper cap screws and hand tighten. Third, place the spacers between the yoke and assembly. Fourth, thread the lower cap screws and hand tighten. Finally, tighten the cap screws to their specified torques. For more information about 657 and 667 actuators, be sure to check out our instructional video series or contact your local Emerson business partner or sales office. Thanks for watching.